right, so we're gonna be doing something a little different today. This is kind of like what a typical day in Egypt would be like for me. It's also during Ramadan. And I'm just gonna watch the video along with you guys instead of cutting in and out. Yeah, this is my neighborhood. Just walking through Solomon Gohar. There we go, Ramadan fight right there. Cursing each other out of all Oh, this is my man. This is my uh, Ramadan drink man. How are you? How are you? Good. Yeah. <laughs> Sobia? Ah, yeah, wash. Yeah. Sobia? Sobia? Which one? This one? The tamarind. Tamarindi? Can I get the tamarindi? Yeah. Yeah, one head, one head. One head, one head. One and one. So I'm asking for one tamarindi, one sobia. Kadesh. It's like 25 cents. So, Sylvia is kind of like a coconut drink, and then Tamarindi is from made from tamarind. Uh, it's like a sweet little tangy drink. Yeah, obviously that's what it is. When I go back through these videos, I hear things or I see things that I never noticed when I was actually there. Like this, look at this, there's a little kid on a motorcycle. Like, what is he like? He looks like he's like 12 years old. But that's, I don't think that's illegal in Egypt. You can do that. Two pounds. Hi, Petran. Gave her all the change I have in my pocket. Usually I don't give to people around my neighborhood because if they know where you live, they will find you every day. This is my street. I live. If I keep going down the street, this is actually where I used to live. Yeah, so my original plan, I brought a suitcase like full of toys, full of candy. I'm like, oh, if I eat, I'm going to go through uh, my neighborhood and another neighborhood I used to live in. And I know a lot of the local street kids and I'm going to give them toys and candy and just something nice to do for Eid. And I mean, I did do that. But then partway through, I realized like in that moment, like, I don't know, like turning on the camera, it kind of changes that transaction you're having with the people. And it doesn't feel as... I don't know, as genuine or as natural. Half the time when I was doing it, I'd forget to record anyway. And then when I even remember, I just decided not to. So I just ended up kind of scrapping that idea in the end. The reason I'm mentioning it is also like, I wouldn't want to discourage anybody else from doing something nice. So if you did want to do something nice, like go ahead and do it. If you want to film it, go ahead. It's like, it's just a personal thing for me that I didn't want to film the thing. And this is the entrance to the metros. They all similar look like this. Look at that, blown right by security. I don't even care. And here, you break, this is where you give them your money, and they're gonna give you the ticket. It used to be one pound. I walked up there and gave him one pound, he looked at me out like fucking nuts. Uh, it's actually like three, five, or seven, depending on your distance now, just because the money uh, went down so much, they have to raise the prices. I said, I want one ticket, one five pound ticket. And you go through the turnstile, and you will notice that Egyptians will never take the stairs. 
hundreds of people will cram onto the escalator and very few will go down or up the stairs. cars I think are all female cars so if you're female you can get on those and there'll be no men on there um, these are mixed gender cars Now, now I'm in Maidi. This is the other area I lived. Originally I was in Doi, this is Maidi. And this is Aya. I've known Aya Tomorrow. since she was, I don't know, two or three. I eat Eid. Tomorrow. Look how heartbroken she is. Tomorrow. Eid. Tomorrow? For Eid. Today was supposed to be Eid. Tomorrow, Eid. Tomorrow, Eid. I have one when you're like this. Yeah. yeah, look at her. Look how small she is. She's one of the children that begs in the neighborhood. Usually I don't give them money. I give them food or buy them something from the grocery store. So I give them money, they're just going to give it to their parents and they don't get anything out of it. If I give them food or something, like a donut or candy, they can enjoy it. Tomorrow. Bukra. Yeah, yeah. Bukra. Tomorrow. For Eid. For Eid. Eid. Both of you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Tomorrow. Got that? Bukra. Yeah. Okay. Stop for a minute. I went back for the next five days. I don't know for family or went somewhere for the holiday, but they were not there where they normally are. And every day I went before I left Egypt, I went back there and I had toys and candy and I could not find Aya or her brothers and sisters. So if anybody in Maadi or going to Egypt or in Cairo can do me a favor, please bring at least one toy or some toys and candy to Aya, Aya and her friends, because I feel like I lied to them. Uh, even though I swear I went back every day for five days and I never saw her, uh, just somebody Give her something, tell her it's from me. I'll Venmo you whatever it costs you or I'll be forever in your debt. But could somebody please uh, give Aya some toys or some candy? If not, I mean, eventually I'll come back, but she might be like 15 by then and then she wants something else. <laughs> So everybody's super excited. They're going to eat. As soon as the call of prayer happens in the evening, that means it's good to eat. That means that the sun's gone down, you can eat. Usually they eat like three dates, a little sip of water, three dates. That's traditional how they do it. And as you can see, like I'm walking around, like very few people on the streets, very few cars on the street. Because everybody, unless they can't get home or they need to be out here, they're at home eating. And now I made it back to Doi. Uh, it's already night, I ate, went home, ate. Now I'm in Doi. After about two hours, after everybody eats, it starts to liven up again. This is the butcher shop, so this is a live butcher shop over here. You've got animals hanging right out there. If you, it's some, some places they'll like kill the animal right in the street. You can see the blood and everything draining. Um, you might find it disgusting. How are you?
lights up. It's kind of like Christmas. This was the night um, Liverpool won the Champions League. See my slow uh, golf clap. I'm a Manchester City fan, so we'll be yeah. Sad day in England, uh, happy day for Egypt, because Salah famous in Egyptian soccer player plays for them, so they're happy with that. And this is the dessert man. What's well, Ramadan desserts? Yeah, Basically, I get like almost one of everything. Like two, one, two, one. That's what I'm saying. Two of these, one of these, two of these, one of these. All of this it cost me like maybe 20 pounds. So uh, like a dollar. Okay. All right, that's it. It's pretty much a typical day for me. I did I, I cut out my gym workout because I didn't think anybody wanted to see me working out at the gym. I obviously work out at the gym, so I don't need to like show you guys me lifting heavy stuff. If you want to see me work out at the gym, uh, put it in the comments, and maybe I'll do like a gym video, Egypt gym video, Tunisia gym video, gymming around the world.